Today I bought uh, this SIM card here and I want to use it on my laptop. This is HP with 50G6 and it has an option where you can use a um, SIM card. Now by the end of this video I'm going to make sure that one, we have a working SIM card. You're going to use cellular data instead of the Wi-Fi to browse because sometimes you can have this and maybe you are somewhere you cannot be able to access internet via something like a wired cable or maybe Wi-Fi, you will require maybe something like this for you to go off grid. So this is a SIM card and I'm going to make sure it's working. Now, first of all, before you even think of buying a SIM card, first of all, make sure that your computer or your laptop can be able to have or can be able to use this option. And one thing you have to make sure is you have an option for a SIM card. Now you can see here in my laptop, you can there is a slot where you can just insert my SIM card. Others, it doesn't have this. It has like a tray where you'll have to pull it out and then insert a SIM card. And in that case, you're going to use the smallest part, which is the nano SIM card. You can see here we have several parts. We have the full SIM card, but then we have the micro SIM card, which is this one. And also we have the tiny one, which is this one. For this one, you're going to use like, I don't know, it's that G6 around that. You're going to use the tiny one, but for my laptop here, I'll have to use the bigger one, which is uh, the micro SIM card. So this is what you're going to use. Okay, now, first of all, if you cannot be able to access the point like this one, okay, you already have this, but it's not working even if you insert the several things that you first of all need to make sure you have. And um, I'm going to open up my laptop so that I show you the card that helps you to read that. Now, if you look closely, you can see here we have this card, which is a big one. And also we have a thin one. This is for my Wi-Fi. So this is Wi-Fi 6. And this one is for now the same card because now it's supported. The same tray like we saw is somewhere where? Somewhere here. So this is the PCB for the same card. Now, this is the card that you must have for you to access. Now, most of those laptops that usually don't detect the SIM card even if you insert that in the tray, it's because you don't have this. So you'll have to make sure you have this. I don't know if you can see this, um, the part number in case maybe you want to buy, but in case, um, I'm going to put a link in the description box so that you can be able to just go and buy one and insert it there. I think it's model, I don't know, they're specific for the models. So you can just look up for the model that will fit in your laptop. So you just go ahead and do that. Anyway, that's about that part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it up and then we go and see how you are supposed to set up your SIM card because you have to set it up the correct way. And then from there, after setting it up, we are going to make sure that it connects. Now, I've already bought data inside here. So I have a plan already. So you have data bundles here that will enable me to browse the internet. So so this is already is ready but then the computer is not ready because i'll have to set up what we call apn and that apn i'm going to search specifically one for airtel and then i'm going to show you in case you are in kenya and you want to use airtel in kenya what you can set it up to so that you can be able to access the internet now this is specifically for airtel the sim card here is airtel now in case for example you want to do something on uh, maybe safaricom or maybe other lines like a telecom you'll have to look for the specific apn settings i'm going to set it up let's first of all just close this thing up so we are done i've already done that so what i'm going to do is uh, we're going to switch it on and from there we can be able to start now troubleshooting i think i should record the screen and then from here, you can tell some of the things that you people usually do that uh, make you not be able to access the internet using the SIM card. Now, this is that time when I want to install the SIM card. Like I said, I'm going to use a micro SIM. So I'm going to just remove the bigger part, this one. This is what you're going to use. And I'm going just to insert it inside here. You can look here. We have an indication and the orientation we are going to use for our SIM card. The incomplete corner will come to this direction. So I'm going to insert it there and then I'm going to 
press it until I hear a click. I don't know whether you can hear the click. So if you want to remove, you just press it inside until it clicks and then comes out and then you can just remove your SIM card. For those that uh, usually have a tray, you'll have to uh, make sure you just press it, then you insert now the tiny card, the nanol card inside and then you just do the same thing. So for this one, you're just going to insert like that. And now I'm now interested in how it looks from inside. Now I inserted the SIM card. Now if I click on uh, this option here, I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi. Actually, let me even disconnect the Bluetooth. We want to only work with our cellular data. So if I click on that, you can see it can detect the SIM card. And this is the other issue that people usually get. Now, for, first of all, before you even proceed, in case you have the card that I showed you, and then you have the slot and you have the SIM card, you are able to insert it, but you didn't actually get this option that you have here. One thing I want you to make sure is you have the driver. And how do you check that? You just, if this is Windows 11, I usually just use a shortcut, Windows X, and this will just take me to device manager. I click on it and then just Ignore this error. This is um, the BIOS. It's very outdated. So you come here to the network adapters. You expand that. You can see this is my Ethernet. This is my Wi-Fi. You should have this other card detected. Now, in case you don't have this, it's either the card that you already have inside there is not compatible or you don't have the drivers. So you can just go for this one. This is HP 50G6. You can just go directly to HP website. That's why you're going to get the drivers. You can just Google that directly. You're going to get the driver and it's going to detect the card. And you're going to see now the option that you have here. This, uh, the one that you have here. Now this is Airtel KE. This is Airtel Kenya. And you can see we have an option for long-term Evolution, this is LTE, it's a uh, 4G. So you just go here to more cellular settings, click on that, and this will take you directly to where you have the cellular settings and we're interested in uh, the APN and that's where this will come in. Mobile operator settings, you click on that, you're going to have this. You can see there's no APN, we're going to create one. Now, we have uh, different APNs for different um, internet providers so for this one which is mine i have uh, i'm going to attach all the details that i'm going to use here because i i was given by the service provider now for the profile i'm going to use airtel internet apn now this one is just internet this is exactly what i was given username leave it blank even for safaricom you don't use anything there a password, leave it blank, and the type of sign information, you're going to use PAP. That one there. Then for the IP type, you're going to use the default. So you just leave it the way it is. And for the APN type, you only have internet option there. So you just leave this thing as it is. And uh, make sure this is checked. Most of the time, it's usually unchecked because you want to use this, uh, the APN that you're creating for the current session. So you just click on a apply and then you save after saving you can see here it's applied and activated now if you go back uh, you can see we are now connected and if we, if we click here and go to the cellular data you can see we are connected and uh, we can comfortably go to the internet well, let's just you can see it's basically working maybe let's just look uh, um, Okay, this is not the best, but 20 Mbps from a cellular connection is something very good. So it's very important for you to make sure you set up the APN according to the service provider of the SIM card that you bought for me. It's just this one. So it's working for me. Let me go to YouTube quickly and see if uh, I can be able to stream something that makes sense. I'll just click on YouTube and try to see, if, for example, if I stream something like... Um, Mm-hmm. Let me try to just pick any that's come here. I'm trying to see the one that will have something like a 4K. I don't know. Let me just search. 4K video. Yeah. So I click on this one here. 
the ads. Um, it's uh, 720. Let's see how long it will take for it to load 1080. So, you know, at 1080, and we are getting a very decent stream. So, let's see if it uh, can struggle with uh, something like 4K. Click on 4K. Let's see how it's actually not struggling at all. And it's very smooth. Let me try to seek. Yeah, working perfectly. So this is 4K. And you can see we are still connected to the cellular internet. So that's how you use, or that's how you can install a SIM card inside of uh, your computer or maybe a laptop so long as it has an option for the SIM card. Now, in case you don't have that, I think we're going to make a video about that or how you can be able to use a SIM card in your desktop. I think that should be in a future video in case you're interested. So in case you're interested, you can tell us in the comment region. So in case you have something like a question, we can interact down there in the comment region. See you in the next video.